Now we resume in chapter 14 question, a Doppler question that is quite unusual. I don't, this is, well, to my, what I remember, I haven't seen this come up pretty often. Maybe last time got a question like this. But it's a graph about Doppler frequency. Hmm. A source emitting a sound of a single frequency travel at a constant speed directly towards an observer. Then the source will pass the observer and then move directly away from the observer. The velocity is constant. Which graph shows the frequency graph of the sound heard by the observer? Now you find it hard to visualize. Draw a picture. You are the observer. And there is a car or some something flying towards you. The waves will bunch up like this. So draw the picture. Lo. The waves bunch up. So what frequency will you hear? If Fs is the source frequency, then you, if you are the observer, you will hear something higher. Okay, so because you see all the waves are bunched up higher frequency. Ma. So you will hear something higher. So this is higher. And if you are behind, that will be F lower. But eh, we don't care about that for now. Higher than what? Higher than the source frequency. Oh. Then if it's coming directly towards you at a constant speed, V. Then it's directly away from you. It passed by you at a constant speed. But the waves are still bunched up like that because it is moving to the right. So now, instead of hearing a higher frequency, you will hear a lower frequency here. Because it's moving away from you. So how would you look at the graphs? You start off something higher, then something lower than the source. So you look at all these graphs. Um, a and C are wrong already, because this is from low to high. So nope. C is also nope, low to high. Now we'll start with B and D. B is, you start off with some observer frequency, sorry, some higher frequency, then you drop down. But here is a constant, a, 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 a gentle slope down in frequency. What is the answer? Ah, Think of this as one dimension. The thing is coming directly towards you. So, when we look at the formula for the observer frequency, that is the velocity of uh, sound plus minus the source, times the frequency of the source. Now, all this is constant, right? V is constant, Vs is constant, Fs is constant, everything all constant. That means when it's traveling towards you at a constant speed, it should be just a same observer frequency all the way. Okay, so this is the first part. Then the moment it passes you, pshoop, suddenly you are at a lower frequency. So maybe this one down here. Okay, then a lot of people will get very confused and say, Miss, Miss, but in real life, I heard that day there was an ambulance and it was like, Meow. Isn't that a Meow kind of curving down kind of thing like this? Yes, that is what you hear in real life. But, 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 what happens in real life is a little bit different from this scenario that I just drew out here. The difference is, in real life, if this is a road, you don't stand in the middle of the road, do you? You stand at the side of the road. But where is the car travelling? The car is travelling on the road, let's say on this lane. So it will emit waves in like, well, the waves will get bunched up in France, correct. But the frequency where, uh, sorry, the, the direction where the speed of sound travels towards you is actually like this. The sound is traveling towards you in this direction. So this so-called velocity is not constant. Now this component lah. Because your car is there ma. Then suddenly your car move here already. The velocity here will be different. Velocity here is different. Then your car moves somewhere, velocity is different. Velocity is different. So that is a non-constant velocity because you are in a two dimension now. Okay. This is different from if you were the person standing right on the road. Ah, that one you hear a constant velocity because the car is coming directly at you. It's not component, component. See the difference here? It's a 2D diagram. This is what we know at A-levels. This one, if you want to try out the math, sure, go ahead with it. But V is changing. But here, V is constant. So therefore, straight line frequency, straight line frequency, no decreasing. Although you are very tempted to choose D because it's like real life scenario. Okay? So that is our Doppler frequency question. Next one.